September 22nd, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Hebrews chapter 6 from the New Testament. Therefore, we must progress beyond the elementary instructions about Christ and move on to maturity, not laying this foundation again, repentance from dead works and faith in God, teaching about baptisms, laying on of hands, resurrection of the dead, and eternal judgment. And this is what we intend to do, if God permits. For it is impossible in the case of those who have once been enlightened, tasted the heavenly gift, been partakers of the Holy Spirit, tasted the good word of God and the miracles of the coming age, and then have committed apostasy to renew them again to repentance, since they are crucifying the Son of God for themselves all over again and holding him up to contempt. For the ground that has soaked up the rain that frequently falls on it and yields useful vegetation for those who tend it receives a blessing from God. But if it produces thorns and thistles, it is useless and about to be cursed. Its fate is to be burned. But in your case, dear friends, even though we speak like this, we are convinced of better things relating to salvation. For God is not unjust so as to forget your work and the love you have demonstrated for his name in having served and continuing to serve the saints. But we passionately want each of you to demonstrate the same eagerness for the fulfillment of your hope until the end, so that you may not be sluggish, but imitators of those who, through faith and perseverance, inherit the promises. Now when God made his promise to Abraham, since he could swear by no one greater, he swore by himself, saying, Surely I will bless you greatly, and multiply your descendants abundantly. And so by persevering, Abraham inherited the promise. For people swear by something greater than themselves, and the oath serves as a confirmation to end all disputes. In the same way, God wanted to demonstrate more clearly to the heirs of the promise that his purpose was unchangeable, and so he intervened with an oath, so that we who have found refuge in him may find strong encouragement to hold fast to the hope set before us through two unchangeable things, since it is impossible for God to lie. We have this hope as an anchor for the soul, sure and steadfast, which reaches inside behind the curtain, where Jesus, our forerunner, entered on our behalf, since he became a priest forever in the order of Melchizedek. God, I pray for everyone today who is struggling. Not struggling with leaving their faith, but just struggling with living in this world. It seems that sometimes things just avalanche over us, just press in on us and crush us. Maybe it's relationships, maybe it's money, maybe it's a job, um, maybe it's words that have hurt us. There's so many things in this world that can attempt to destroy us. And it's so encouraging to read in Hebrews 6 where he talks about in the same way God wanted to demonstrate more clearly to the heirs of the promise, meaning you and I, to the heirs of the promise, that his purpose was unchangeable. And so he intervened with an oath. And we know from the Old Testament, an oath is black and white. There's no changing it. It even goes on to say, we have found refuge in him who may find strong encouragement to hold fast to the hope set before us through two unchangeable things, since it is impossible for God to lie. We have the hope as an anchor for the soul, sure and steadfast, which reaches inside behind the curtain where Jesus, our forerunner, entered on our behalf. So the curtain they're talking about, of course, is in the Old Testament time is that curtain that separated the people from the high priest. And now we have Jesus to go to who has promised to be an anchor for us, sure and steadfast, consistent in all things. So even though the world, even though people and situations and habits, bad habits, uh, seem to get a hold of us and tug at our heart and and shatter us with so many different emotions. We know that pure, always sure, always steadfast, always consistent. We have you, we have your son, we have your Holy Spirit living inside of us. And you have promised by oath that that will never change, that you will always forever and ever be that to us. That you have promised us as that of heirs of that promise. That your purpose will never change for us. 
that you have created us to sing your praises here on earth, to tell others about you, to glorify you. You don't want to bring destruction upon us. It very clearly says that in Jeremiah, you want what is best for us. You want to bless us. And so God, I just pray for everyone who needs that hope of understanding that you are an anchor in their life that you will hold them tightly as they go through whatever the situation they're going through right now. And you will be there with them, sure and steadfast, never leaving them, always protecting them and always wanting what is best for them. God, I'm not sure with the destruction we create upon ourselves why you're willing to do that. But today, more than ever, I am so thankful how well you take care of us and the fact that I know you can't lie. So that is a truth that I can count on every single day, no matter how black my days are or how dark my nights are, that no matter what happens here on earth, that it is you who will be with me, sure and steadfast. In your son's name I pray, amen.